this out guys, we are back with a brand new episode on the channel and today my friends you can all see the title of the episode, we are going to be talking about the current state of COC, the future, the next update, will it be Town Hall 12, we are going to cover everything right now inside of this episode and I'm going to give my opinion on why I think Supercell is in a great position now guys for the next update. Now before we even get into this video, I was thinking about this last night for the first time in four years. I was actually thinking I'm literally one of the last dudes to play this game on YouTube guys who uploads it every single day. I don't even know if there's even five people left on YouTube who upload this game every day guys. And I was thinking I still get over 50,000 views every single video and I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you for the constant support over the last three and a half years on YouTube. It has been absolutely incredible and um, I just want to say thank you and when this next update does land, if it is a big one, I promise I will give you guys more gems than I have ever done in my, uh, my YouTube career guys. So leave a like and subscribe if you're excited for that. But what we're going to do, we're going to talk about the current state of the game and why I personally believe Supercell has set themselves up for a huge update. Okay, so it is currently the 16th of April 2018. We are about one third way through the year and at the start of the year, Darian, the Supercell employee, actually said that we would hopefully be receiving a main village update during the middle part of the year, guys. Now there are rumors flying around that it's gonna be towards the end of June, but of course no one can clarify that, guys. The only thing we know for certain is that it is going to be a big update for the main village and the main village only. The builder base is done and that is, uh, for me, that's absolutely amazing. So earlier on today, guys, I decided to look at some statistics to see how many people are still playing Clash of Clans in April 2018. So what I want all of you to do, my subscribers, go down below in that comment section and take a guess. How much money do you think Supercell is still making every day just from COC guys. Take a guess down below. I'm gonna let you know the answer at the end of the video and I wanna see if anyone can get a good close guess guys. So how much do you think Supercell is making a single, every single day just from COC? So let's talk about the current state of the game. So we're gonna cover clan wars, we are gonna cover trophy pushing and we're gonna cover pretty much the content currently in the game guys. And then we're gonna go ahead and talk about the future update which is hopefully coming in June and what I think it's going to be and why Supercell is in the best position to release this update. So as I said last night, I was laying in my bed guys and I was thinking about my career on YouTube and how COC has developed over the last couple of years and what I kind of realized was Supercell is setting themselves up for a massive update and I came to this conclusion by just simply looking at what they have provided us with guys. Over the last, I would say 12 weeks, the last three months, since the start of 2018, we have had numerous amounts of clan games offering ginormous amounts of gold elixir, dark elixir, even free gems and magic items. We have also had a huge amount of offers inside of the shops, guys, offering us a stupid amount of gold and elixir for a very low cost price in comparison to, you know, prices before. We have been finding, you know, potions are easy to come across, guys, training potions, We've also got loot potions. Now, if you add all of this together, it comes to a simple conclusion. Supercell is trying to create a way for the majority of players to max out their base as quickly as possible, guys. Now, why would they do this? It is quite simple. There is going to be a revolutionary update coming into the game, and I believe Supercell is trying to push as many people to a point where they're ready to accept this update, guys. Now, earlier on, I asked you how much money do you think Supercell is still making every day from COC? And the answer is in March 2018, so last month, they averaged $900,000 a day. And uh, I think that was just on the iOS store, guys. I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on that. But they averaged $900,000 US dollars every single day, calculating an estimate of $27 million a month, guys. So they're still making huge amounts of money. They're making enough, more than enough, to pull that back into the game and come up with some awesome updates. Now you've got to remember, they're making 900k a day and that doesn't have any sort of update around it. That is just a random day where Supercell is, you know, selling gems to noobs like me. That's pretty much all it is. So imagine what happens if Supercell was to release Town Hall 12. Now this is where the next part of the video comes in, guys. What do I think is going to be inside of the next update? 
I think there's no question that it's going to be Town Hall 12. I genuinely believe we are going to 100% see a new Town Hall level. However, I do not think it's going to correspond with the previous 11 levels. I think it's going to offer something completely different to draw back previous players. And I also think it's going to offer a different type of possible gameplay, if that kind of makes sense, guys. I just think it's going to be completely different to Town Hall 11, Town Hall 10, and all those previous Town Hall levels. Now, I will say this. If we do not receive Town Hall 12 by the summer, I will most likely stop playing COC on my YouTube channel, guys. Now, the reason for that is, quite simply, I've been playing this game for over four years, or just over four years, and uh, I've had so much fun with it. I am almost a maxed out Town Hall 11, as you can see, guys. I am working on these walls. I, I upgrade at least five or six walls every day. We've only got just over 100 left. Once I've completed these walls, that's it. I'm done with my Town Hall 11 base, guys. And if Town Hall 12 doesn't come out, it, if it is, you know, just simply some new defenses and new spells for Town Hall 11, then I will say, guys, with the, uh, the deepest of regret, I will be retiring from COC on YouTube. Uh, I'll still play it, but of course, I won't be uploading videos. But that's, that's you know, that's not going to happen because I do believe Town Hall 12 is going to come out. So we're going to move on now. We're going to talk about what I've been seeing on the forums, guys. So I actually visit the Supercell, the COC-specific forums, pretty much every single day just to read, you know, some threads and see what's going on, guys, any update information. And I also check Reddit as well. And I've been noticing there are a lot of maxed out Town Hall 11s or people who are so close to maxing out their Town Hall 11 bases. All they've got left to do is upgrade some walls. And that's that's amazing, guys, because I, I never realized how many max bases there actually are. And it seems like... Due to the, uh, you know, the increase in clan games, the offers of magic items, training potions, and all that great stuff from Supercell, it has truly enabled avid players of COC to max out their bases in as little time as possible, and it's uh, just pretty much allowed optimal farming, guys, and that is amazing to see. Now... Over the next couple of weeks, leading up hopefully to June, we will be receiving update information and I will be of course showing you and showcasing everything that I receive on this channel guys, so make sure you are subscribed to join the family on our way to 2.5 million subs. And uh, apart from that, we are going to be doing the occasional Captain Tony video, but I really don't want to put loads of time into that, guys, because I do want to focus on maxing out these level 12 walls. We're going to be bringing you, you know, some different kind of content, guys. Maybe some top 10s, top 5s from CLC or some different types of strategies. If you do want to see anything, let me know down below in that comment section. We're going to be doing a Q&A on maybe tomorrow or the day after, guys. If you do want to ask me any questions, Make sure you follow my Instagram. It is general underscore Tony. I'm going to post a photo on there tomorrow asking you guys for your questions. So make sure you stay tuned because that is going to be pretty cool. We're probably going to do one Q&A every couple of weeks for the next couple of weeks. And I've also got a huge project I've been working on, guys. And uh, I'm going to do a series on this channel running through the entire project. It's a six-month project. It's going to lead us all the way up to December, and the whole point of this is to motivate you guys, my subscribers. I'm gonna show you what it's like to open your dream business, guys. I'm gonna be opening my dream business, and uh, hopefully I can take you guys through this series and show you how everything is done. So that pretty much concludes where we are. Now inside of the Q&A, I do wanna receive questions about different games that you might want me to play on the channel. So if you have made it this far into the episode, guys, and you do want me to play any other games, let me know down below what's hot, what are you playing, and what would you love to see? Now the only game I'm not gonna be playing on my channel, 90% is Fortnite. I play it every single day, but I play it just for fun, guys. I'm actually really good at it. I usually come first quite a lot, guys, but um, I don't really want to play it on the channel because everyone else plays it and I think that would just be a little bit boring. I don't really want to play Pug B as well because everyone else plays that too, guys. So uh, I think I'm going to stick with COC right now and just going to see where it takes me. But I do play Fortnite and I will let you know my game attack inside of the, uh, the actual Q&A, guys. And I want to play with you, my subscribers, so make sure you stay tuned for that. As I said, follow me on Instagram. It is General underscore Tony. But that concludes... This episode, that is where we are currently up to date, guys. All we've got left to do is max out these level 12 walls. Let me know down below what is your town hall level. What have you got left to upgrade? Have you been maxing out your base quicker than ever? With, of course, the introduction of client games, magic items, training potions, and all that other great stuff. I would just like to say, guys, shout out to Supercell for bringing us five and a half years of COC, coming up to six years in August. 
It has been pretty damn insane, guys, and I've had an amazing time making over 1,700 videos just on COC. Is it time for me to take my channel to the next level and play different games? We'll see, guys. If Town Hall 12 doesn't come out, then it's most definitely going to be happening. So I'm going to win this episode here. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. And stay tuned. There will be a normal video resuming in tomorrow's episode, guys. I'll see you shortly. Have a great day, great evening, wherever you are around the world. Peace out.